Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to get a decent Minecraft thumbnail. Um, basically all I've done so far is gone into Google Images and searched for Minecraft and there's quite a few shots like this. The only problem with this is that there's a hand here, but I couldn't find one without a hand. Um, the size of images, this is um, 1920 by 1080, so... That's the size that you have to do this to get the thumbnail. I don't know if there's any other size, any other easy way to do it. This is just the way I know. I'm doing this in Photoshop. This is a Photoshop tutorial. Um, I don't know if this will work in any others. Maybe you'll be able to follow the steps easily and it will look just as good. Um, so, the first thing I like to do is go on my fonts and click this Minecrafter 2.01. This is downloaded, I downloaded it off Defont. The link for this will be in the description. And um, basically, it's like cool Minecraft text. And it works well with thumbnails for Minecraft because it looks like actual Minecraft writing. So if I just make that about the size of the top there, I've got these blue lines, they're not really needed. It just helps you slightly, um, but you know. And then you go down to stroke. I like to give it a 10 stroke, nice and thick. Still see all the details of this. And it looks nice from far out. So, that's that one. Um, and depending on what it is, it's depending on what you put here. Oops, that was done too small. Um... Say if you're doing just a a normal survival. Um, I don't like to do this in the Minecraft font though. The font I'll tell you the font I like to use, but this is sort of a free one. It, you basically pick the font that suits you. Um, for example, I choose one that is called. Where is it? There it is. Kamika Axis. And it's just nice, simple writing. And it looks good. The Yogscast use one called Badaboom. You might recognize that from Yogscast. Um, I think PewDiePie uses that one sometimes on a few of his videos. That's Feast of Flesh. All these fonts you can get off the font. It's a really good website where you can get nice fonts um, if you don't know how to get some fonts onto this I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos around you just have to search for it and they will explain it nice and easily it's not it's not all a complicated process so this is what we got um, I like to put it either in smack bang in the middle like there which is going to be on this case, or to the side, and all you do, you highlight it and select that one, and basically it'll put it all to one side so it'll look neater to the one side. In fact, I'm going to do it like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to give this a stroke 10. You can select all colors for these if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then this, um, if you're doing a series, you might want to put a hash one for episode one right there at the bottom um, and obviously put that color put the stroke as 10 is the one I suggest you use but you can use any color really um, but yep yeah, what we're gonna do now is this the all the links by the way will be in the description this is called Minimator. Uh, we're going to open this. Minimator software. It's an animation software. You know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what the hell? We're making thumbnails. What the hell are you doing on animation software? But this is something I like to do. Basically, I choose the background color. I make it green. So we got a nice green background. And then I delete show ground, so it's just a big, big green. 
And then add a character, which is old Steve here. Um, you can change the skin. For example, I'm going to browse, and you can choose your skin within it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use Steve. Um, the controls are basically quite easy in this. You click, left click to just sort of move around like this. Click right click to sort of move on a ball. And this allows you to move around. Or you both click and it's just easier and you can move around as well. With the WASD um, buttons. So you get a good position of your character here. And then down here you'll see this faint slightly lighter grey line you just want to click that somewhere and it'll bring you up a different menu um, basically what I do with this if I just select the head there it will go yellow and all this will darken out if I select the outside it will select all of it I can select this hat which will be the hair if you've got a second layer the arm the body the f each feet um, it's a really cool thing and it's really good for editing and it's really good for putting your character in an amazing stance. So once you've got this, you've got him in the green background, you can like obviously click around, make choose where you want him to be, if you want him from a different angle, wherever. But I'm gonna have him from the front. So he's like sort of pointing towards the camera like that. And then I'm gonna print screen. So I've just print screen, and we go back onto Photoshop, and then we're going to paste this over, I'm going to get this magic wand, which is either like the quick selection tool, and you just click and hold, drag down to that, select all of the green, and click control next. And then, there we go, he's been nice, neatly cut out, and the rest can be done just with, uh, what's this tool called? Is it just called the select tool? I don't know, it's not going to tell me. Uh, and just delete the rest that's around this that was taken in the screenshot. Control X, and that's all gone. And then we get a character here, and we put him at the bottom. And he looks really cool. Look at that. Look at Steve. Look at him go. like yo um and then if you like you can add a stroke um wow we got a line there so there we go he's got a nice outline i'm just gonna go ahead and delete that line there we go and this is old steve he's pointing at the camera he's looking really excited and there we go. That is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it gets you a nice, cool looking thumbnail. Now, the thumbnail range has gone out to a lot more people. Some people um, might be struggling on making these, but I hope this helped make a really professional looking thumbnail for you guys. Um. I have been Hershko, subscribe for some gaming videos and other stuff, maybe I'll do some other tutorials if anyone needs help with anything that I do on my channel, um, but of course until then, it's goodbye, oh and by the way you're going to have to file, save as and it'll come up Photoshop, so you need to change that to JPEG and this is some um, thumbnails I've got here, and we're going to Save that. I'm going to save it as thumbnail tutorial and click save. And there we go. Boom. Hit like if it helped. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.